Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hello and welcome to MSHATAC. Today we are going to discuss SAC Optimize Story Experience. By using the left panel, we can also uh, manage our chart. If I click on the chart and then the in the left hand side, our chart underscore one is automatically highlighted. So we can uh, uh, we can uh, use this option. Number one is enable mouse action to resize or reposition. It means that if I lock this object, we can't, we cannot the <coughs> change. Sorry. <coughs> it means that we cannot change its position. We cannot resize this uh, chart after locking uh, option. Here it is. Now. If I unlock the chart, we can resize the chart very easily. After this, we have the visible option. If I want to uh, hide any chart, I will uh, any chart on any widget. It is uh, it is available on all widget. So if I want to hide my chart, I will click on the on this button. Our chart, our uh, our uh, widget will be automatically invisible so let's uh, unhide this and last but not least the edit script function if i use the edit script function the on select and the on result change script will be available so then when i select my chart the on select uh, function will be triggered and if i select this if i uh, if i if the result of uh, and chart change the the on result change trigger will be automatically triggered i have uh, made the scripting uh, scripting uh, script, uh, the magic of scripting in my other videos if you still don't uh, uh, see it let's uh, browse to my uh, to my playlist so then you can easily understand what are the benefit of scripting so let's move on so let's close my left panel and let's on my right panel here it is now as uh, as we have discussed that the right panel is used for the properties of any widget so uh, we can uh, we can add the dimension we can change the the type of the chart type of the widget and also we can avail uh, we can use the available objects which is very new feature of uh, uh, story design experience let's click on the available object button here it is now you can see that in the calculation we don't have any calculation account input control we don't have any uh, any account input control but in the accounts option we have net income and in the major section we have account measures and in the dimension uh, section we have uh, uh, we have uh, the customer date product and version so as we have discussed the available available object is very important so if i want to uh, use this uh, uh, the customer as a dimension so i will uh, i will use this i will drag and drop my this uh, dimension to the dimension option and in the measure i will select i will drag and drop the account measure to the major section also for the account uh, account option we have the net income so i also drag and drop this here we have the color option and also we have the filter option additionally here so uh, after that if we want to apply any filter to the specific chart we can use this option after that if you want to uh, use the chart add-on, chart add-ons 
also present here. We can also add threshold, variance, reference line, tooltip, hyperlink, and link analysis. So these are the very new option chart add-ons for our SAC stories. Let's save our story. Here it is. Now our story has been saved. So if we uh, if we want to add the custom widget or if you want if we want to add the widget add-on, we have to go straight to the main uh, main stories option, and then we have to go to the custom widget. This is also a very new option. So then we can uh, add our JSON uh, customized widget to our stories. In this way, if I click on the plus, the system will ask for the JSON file. So then it will add the widget very quickly. After this, we can also uh, add widget add-ons in the same way. If I click on the plus button, the system will upload the JSON, the new uh, add-ons add -ons by using the JSON file. So if we want to uh, format our stories, we can use the theme option and then we can use the create theme option. For this, the system will ask for creating a theme uh, very, uh, very easily. So if we want to apply a, a standard theme, a customized uh, a company's scheme, we can build in this type of in this option load story CSS and also we can apply any global uh, CSS class so then this will apply to our whole story we can also change the background of our story we can also change the gradient direction and so on so in this way we can add our theme exp theme preferences uh, to our story very easily we can also uh, change the layout of our story very easily by applying any standard layout and we have to go to the format menu and then select layout option here it is now we can also apply the map uh, layout and this way our story will be changed and the new layout will be applied automatically layout has been successfully applied the message has come here it is now you can see the layout of uh, our story has been changed after applying the new layout we can also change the CSS uh, uh, CSS or theme or design by using the uh, format menu and then using the edit CSS option. This will redirect to the CSS. We can now create our global class uh, here and then after this the, uh, the theme will apply. This is also I explained in other uh, detailed video of my channel so you can explore CSS by using that video let's close the story uh, CSS tab by using this option here it is you can also explore all the uh, all the features all the updated features by studying by exploring the documents uh, documentation which is available on the help.sap.com you can search by using the about optimized story experience improvement keyword so then you will find this you will find all the improvement all the new things which uh, SAC has been updated
here it is now it it is it is uh, it has been listed the story improvement filter improvement chart improvement table improvement and and the chart improvement filter improvement and so on so if i uh, click on the table improvement it will show the table improvement which are new to any any developer so we will discuss all the available options uh, in this uh, documentation uh, one by one later in my videos let's uh, i will uh, i will make all uh, the videos regarding the uh, chart builder panel regarding the available objects uh, optimized panel about the advanced mode and so on so do stick to my channel and if you like this video do click on the like button also if you are new to my channel do subscribe to my channel let's meet into another new video till then bye bye take care